to Donegal to honour the first All Blacks captain, Dave Gallagher, who was born in Remelton. Jerry Collins cracked open a bottle of champagne to officially name Letterkenny Rugby Club's new grounds after Dave Gallagher. And then it was on to Letterkenny Institute of Technology, where thousands of fans waited to greet the team, and where Tana Umaga spoke about his controversial spear tackle on Irish captain Brian O'Driscoll. Things happen in the game of rugby, and um, uh, obviously this, guy, this one's gone now in London than you know, any, any other that I've heard of, but it's just the way it is. There was time for a brief run out with some underage players in Letterkenny on this unique visit, which is part of the All Black Centenary celebrations. And for many, the highlight was the visit to the house where Dave Gallagher was born in Remelton. He captained the legendary 1905 New Zealand touring side, and the people of his hometown gave the All Blacks a tremendous welcome. The All Blacks know, you know how important he is in, in terms of um, shaping our history, so it's great to come, come back and see where he came from and uh, where it all started. So. That's oh, awesome. Um, you know, the first time, not only here, but the first time in Ireland, and uh, you know, I guess in, in, in a career you start experiencing uh, new experiences, and uh, you know, these are, these are one of my you know first experiences uh, coming into a small town like this and you know, getting uh, a warm welcome here. So yeah, it's good. A memorable visit for the All Blacks, and they say they're looking forward to the upcoming game against Ireland. But Irish fans will be hoping for a few more spills like this one on Saturday. Donegal, birthplace of Dave Gallagher, who at the age of five emigrated from this house to New Zealand with his family, where he went on to become a rugby legend before he died in action in World War I. He played for New Zealand 36 times, uh, 27 of them I believe as captain. In New Zealand rugby terms he's, he's considered to be a, a, a legend, he, he, uh, he wrote the definitive book on, on, on rugby rules at the time, he was a coach after, he, uh, after his playing career ended. And uh, of course, he, he captained the famous 1905-1906 tour of, uh, of Britain and Ireland. And as part of those centenary celebrations, some of the All Blacks will visit the former Gallagher home on Wednesday and in Letterkenny, they'll name the local rugby club's new pitch and have a kickabout with some underage players. Six All Blacks confirmed. Uh, the names of those All Blacks haven't yet been released. Um, it depends on who's available. Uh, they're all players that will not be playing in the Irish match on Saturday, so we have high hopes that some of the players that are playing against Wales will be there. The two things we put to them was we wanted to honour Dave Gallagher's memory through rugby and secondly in return we would like them to help us promote the club and promote uh, rugby at grassroots level and they certainly embraced those two concepts well you know no problem at all. So, so in Letterkenny they hope that this visit will promote rugby locally and here in Remelton they hope it'll be a big boost for tourism with a permanent Dave Gallagher exhibition in the Heritage Centre and a statue often planned for the town. Eileen Magner or